Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible on Legendary Iron Man with many, many, many mods installed, some of which are doubling the enemy squad size. Um, Yellow Alert, a better admin for more and clever AI movements and about 60 really, really hardcore enemies, including new factions. It's time for the fourth, I think, retaliation mission, and so far we've lost every single one. So today I have decided to make a stand and uh, effectively want to win that. We're bringing Grell, Dilly G, Euler, um, Roby, Inquisitor, and the most inappropriate Murphy onto this mission. Um, as you can see, I've uh, resorted back to a, um, a pretty mixed bag of uh, ammunitions that we have uh, created i felt the skirmisher in particular had problems hitting so we're going with uh, tracer rounds and i put the superior scope that i purchased on the bow pub so he's now rocking a hundred uh, to hit which hopefully should get him into a much better position um, and yeah the rest is really trying to optimize the dps output in terms of soldiers abilities we already got uh, the extra uh, reflex when we're being hit and yeah i don't want to invest too much into him yet he needs to uh, find an o his own way of paying for his abilities so far we're okay so let's jump into the mission and see how well we're doing we need a lot a lot of damage and we need to move in aggressively which of course without armor um, is not going to be that simple okay so we landed in a corner this time it's only 13 upper uh, 13 uh, civilians if we do our job well Hopefully all of them will still be alive at the end of this mission. I hope it's worth it. Throw in the hook. Your Dilly G moves up. I, I guess that'll be okay. Uh. Don't want to use the grappling hook yet. I think this is a good position because we can grapple next turn in either direction. Grell moves up and an appropriate Murphy moves up as well. And that's a solid first turn. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. All right. Well, what is that? New mutants. Cool. Mutant Harriers. Okay, they, are, they seem to not be good at hitting, which is great. I love things that are not good at hitting. And another, another Berserk tries his luck. Alright, so... Running and gunning. Moving up. And 
and let's try to get rid of uh, the uh, the um, heavy mech, which was good. We got blue screen rounds for a reason. Okay, now that we know these guys are here. Let's reposition ourselves. A little bit more aggressive here. What are we going to do about that rather heavy armor? I don't like it. Look, we could move up and and essentially start beating them down All right, I'll go. Euler thanks to his death from above he's likely the right guy for the job here start with a nice flanking shot not a lot of damage but still we're doing okay thankfully a few crits Euler can pick this guy up all right that triggers death from above and this can hit and shred the other one Rel moves up. And somehow we were not able to hit this guy. But inappropriate Murphy can. And we should give it a try. 62% is good. So I think we're left with one Berserk. Overwatch, Overwatch should be fine. Good job on that first pack. Good job on that first pack. I like it. A lot of armor to chew through, but we didn't need a lot of uh, cooldowns, which is always good. Reloading to stay on top of our magazine. And let's start the, to give that Berserk a tough time. Good, Berserk down. Fantastic. I would love to rescue a few of the civilians if possible. So, aggressive movement. And slowly shifting over here, really. Tired of waiting around. Moving to Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Good. Everybody's um, overwatching. Good, so far so good. I think we can start to deploy a grapple. Just shifting our sniper into a more aggressive position here. Reloading. So yeah, Roby moves up. And let's move up as well. Good, but it's as aggressive as I want to be in uh, during this turn. 
This here is a movement for a grapple next turn. And we can shift our position. I'm preparing for this by basically moving everybody already over. Alright, so far so good. It's actually going really well. One pack. Rescued two. And we got three more inside. Four, actually. Oh no. The Viper King. Uh, rotated too early. Fire I rotated too early. Well, uh, we have a problem. So the Viper King should be slowly but surely moving in. It's a problem no matter where we are moving. A second this is not triggering him I'm going. good so no ruler action which is good just barely out of line of sight okay cool this here will be a problem but what we can do is we can go into overwatch Inquisitor needs to go a bit back. This here should not trigger a reaction either. It's free movement. Yep, okay. Good, very good. Fantastic. All right. That should trigger a second overwatch. Not sure though, it should trigger, like he should have two overwatches. Problem that I'm seeing is all of this here is vision blockage, so the Viper King would need to come into that area. Let's do ourselves a favor. Grell 8 protocols herself, gets an overwatch and let's just get this guy down. Okay. One less problem. Not a problem. Inappropriate Murphy. We're spreading out. Yeah, that would likely trigger. 
All right, Overwatch here. Trying to kill the Vipers. Well, that was not enough damage, unfortunately. Inappropriate Murphy Overwatches in... I hate to do that, but I think we're just going to go a little bit back. And are overwatching. But, so that worked out well. That on the other hand did not go so well. Free reload. Killing that Viper this time. Okay. The guy is still there. I'm going. Saving another civilian. We're up to three now. I guess that'll be okay. Fifty fifty on the drone. Unfortunately, a miss. This would trigger it's pure presence is incredibly annoying and dangerous at the same time. Good, we're moving a tiny bit back. It will be dangerous for our civilians, but we can then start pulling that guy. Inquisitor will be the one that's trying to rescue more civilians. All right, very good. Uh, maybe not so good. <laughs> it was very good at the beginning. Good, there is another one and we had another one, but we're running out of out of options here. Civilians are dying left and right, and I can't let that happen. So unfortunately No threat assessment for now. But I can make Roby a really difficult target to hit. What's over there?
we gotta we got to first of all shred him I hope it's worth it. moving up overwatch This is not triggering a reaction. Another overwatch. Can't overwatch with Grell because that would trigger a reaction. could run and gun to here and then he will need to react to that and I think I'm going to do it it'll get him out of uh, out of cover all right good well we have a challenge here. Heading over in action, unfortunately, will trigger as well. So I can't let that happen. He could frost breath and then just thorn us up here. I'm more concerned about uh, tongue lashing or just grabbing, grabbing us here. That drone needs to die. Unfortunately, it does not happen. There is the failed tongue grab. Okay, great. With the armor, the one armor that's remaining, of course, continues to be a problem. And his ability to dodge continues to also be a problem. Cross breath. Figured. Okay. Okay, so question. Yep, we can see uh, the Viper. That is a problem because it will be able to react. We don't have Blade Storm, uh, so. Fortunately, this is the best we can do for now. Tries to summon a gate. Yeah. We won't be able to kill it. So 
So just let it move away. We will eventually get our chance for sweet, sweet revenge. And believe me, once that has happened, it's going to be a great day. Alright, we know that there was another pack over there. So, moving over. Inappropriate Murphy also overwatches. Pretty sure we're going to see that other pack trigger any second. Or not. There was a faceless one. Reload. I should have waited with uh, that. We could have used death from above. Alright, let's deal some damage and at the same time move further to the front line. Okay. Time to carefully go here. And very carefully trigger that pack. Oh boy, the guy looks tough. He hasn't skipped leg or arm day in a while. A protocol with threat assessment. And let's see if we can take that mech over. 50 50, come on. Oh, yeah! That could be our living mimic beacon. Fantastic. Got an advent mech for free. But nothing comes really for free. Did he just headshot the guy? While it's getting revealed? I mean... Yeah. Yellow alert, right? Try to hit that purifier. I think I know what I will do. Tell the guys to GTFO. No, that would be too dangerous. That's the right spot. Alright. Inappropriate Murphy reloads overwatches. And to be honest, Dilly G just overwatches as well. 
I don't like uh, firing at a purifier with uh, incendiary rounds. Oh boy. Well, at the end of the day, we were still doing it. It would have been great if he would have started to um, to hit that uh, that uh, that berserker there. Damn it! Okay, not even one round. Good, so the guy is overwatching. Half cover, half cover, half cover. And we can't see him elsewise. Not great, really. 21% mm. Let's just remove the overwatch Oh, he has 15 defense. Well, that explains it It's not really high ground, but okay. I might trigger Overwatch with that. Just barely not, which is good. This is hopefully going to mark him. I think we're trying that again. Fantastic. Okay, good. Well, now a couple of follow-up attacks can happen. But moving over here so we're not too clustered. Okay, perfect. Mutant done. Rock and roll. Deploying grapple. Uh, we can hit from here. Would be an alternative, but I don't know if they do have any AOE. So far, I think we were fine. Okay, I'll go. That would have been the alternative. I don't know all of the skills of these new enemies. Appropriate Murphy Overwatches. We know there is another civilian in here. Psy Strike? What? Raptor Jump, Psy Strike? Okay, not good. Not good at all. Damn, 
Well, fantastic. I can give it a try. Definitely revival protocol. Could explode that corner. It is clear. But I think we're better off with shredding the berserker and marking it. Because elsewise that is going to cause a lot of pain for us. Lightning hands. All right, reload into run and gun and full cover into a nice little hit. Good job. Good. Let's solve uh, this mass of hit points first. Look, the Berserker is down. And we're healing up Roby. And again, we don't want to cluster up too much. Finally. We'll cover down here. Should be fine for now. Okay, Purifier moves in. Double moves. Fair enough. Advanced Raptor Commando. I don't even know the, what the normal commando looks like. How can they already send the Advanced Raptor Commando? Tactical well, guess what, bitch? You have been spotted out. All right, before we're committing to that. A couple of things. Inquisitor gets that protocol. Marking and shredding the guy. It's a good start. Alright, you advanced Raptor Commando. Let me show you how an advanced sword is being stuck up to your rear side. Damn right. Oh, look at you. Thought you were smart, eh? You can't handle me. Could use some ammo over here. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. But that's okay, we're overwatching.
Good. That advanced Raptor squad hopefully will learn its advanced lessons. Nuts. Woo, we won that. Good job. Not sure what the last enemy was uh, who we haven't killed, but there, it's unusual that there are towers. Maybe there had been another faceless one, but I would not know why they would just stop it and not uh, show the faceless one. Good. First retaliation mission that actually felt achievable. And look at that, Diddy G. Oh, face off is great, but I think we're going with kill zone because this is an incredibly clustered, an incredibly clustered uh, zone always. And with kill zone and a deeper magazine, we could get many, many kills off. Inappropriate Murphy and uh, the Inquisitor. Uh, I don't know. I mean, look. Inappropriate Murphy seems to be in high demand. I think we could uh, let him bond together with Roby. Roby does not have a bond made yet. And we got, of course, zero advent troopers. Hello, Commander. Nice. Plus what, 21 supplies. That is what I was hoping for. Hmm, very good. I'm happy. It's going in the right direction. So, what did we need to do? Well, first of all, check if our sniper did receive a couple of extra abilities. Phantom, not really good for him. Face off is a fantastic ability. Death from above can be helpful as well. Hmm. Anymore, even with the spokesman lurking in the shadows. I want to be mindful with our XCOM points, but he's the highest sniper, uh, highest level sniper. So are we going for death from above? And then essentially we can shoot again with our pistol. Pace off is good as well. It's really good, specifically when we're fighting against the lost here. So I answered my own question. Increase regional income would be good, but we're doing that by building a radio relay. Thank you. And so far things are actually going quite well. Now with the sabotage through, we're we're in a good position. Nice little promotion here for Implacable. Good, and we already mentioned... Uh, well, first of all, we got to get resources. This, this here cannot happen. Plus three aim. And plus two aim. It's not bad. I mean, we, we really could use some aim if we get those for free. Avenger plotting new course. That would be a good reward. So, a couple of things. Number one, we need enough uh, supplies. Yeah, we might want to be, uh, sell a couple of the small rivers. 
two more. Very good. So that's enough to at least get us through that next mission. Damn, supplies are in a sh in an actual shortage this time. Ten days, nine days. How many days do we have left? Sixteen. Doesn't matter. Would love to do that. Would really love to do that. And there is another promotion even in, in that. Hmm. Yeah, but we got to fight against gravity. Zirkim can use some extra aim. And he's being accompanied by Wilson, I guess. Yeah, it would be Wilson. Okay, cool. Well, 10 days. Off you go, guys. Good luck. And I think we got another promotion here. Implacable. Finally got run and gun. Great. Love it. Yeah, inappropriate Murphy, I want to bond you with Roby. You heard that correct. So it's either Hogbite and Roby or inappropriate Murphy and Roby. Hogbite Roby would be better. Uh, I would like that more from a team constellation. Good. Very good. The only issue now is the lack of uh, resources. But we can get through that, hopefully. Nanomedcats are great, because that's uh, that means every heal is 8 hit points now. Very good, so Lyrical has joined our team. And we wanted one last uh, specialist. Lyrical, welcome to the team. Great to have you. Let's hope you're doing a good job and try to not die for now. Good. Finishing the radio relay. Fantastic. Effect of all weapon modifications is increased. We don't have a lot of weapon mods, but still a good amount. So that is really, really, really helpful. And we could theoretically expand here, which would be the next natural progression. But we're not having enough intel. We could either, wait a second, voluntary army, that is not bad. Chance resistant soldier will join. That is not bad at all. But I think this year in order to get to West Africa is the safer choice. So what are we going to do? Well, resistance communications would be the next natural um, option. Shadow Chamber wouldn't be bad either, but resistance comms is definitely what we want to go for.
All right, 42 days into 28. I think it is more efficient. 42 days. Yeah, I think that that split is more efficient for us. This here would be perfect for a Psy lab as well. The power coil would make that uh, so much less power intensive. So might want to hold on with building something else or the shadow chamber. Indeed, I think that was also relatively power hungry. Okay, perfect. So I'm still thinking about what to do next. Our income is a problem, the real problem. So I think we're as corny as it sounds, continuing to increase regional income. Can't really expand yet. We don't have enough intel and this year will not cut it. Hmm, although I could scan down here for intel. But the problem is it will take too long until we really got here. The month is already over. So let's take the short term uh, goal increase that and the moment that we do have more intel we can actually start expanding okay um, potentially go hack the device mm, not sure if i like that That's a very difficult mission. Not sure if I like that as well. Maybe we can pull off uh, protect the device. I don't know. We're we're going to see. A lot of uh, folks are back. That's good. Got a couple of captains already. So if we can pull off the next gig that would be great and that hidden i'm i'm mainly interested in uh getting the hidden event countered this here is not a problem and we don't necessarily need an engineer right now it's good to have it this here would really fill kind of multiple holes number one supplies are at a shortage at the moment 250 supplies would be a great benefit for us the ranger wouldn't be bad either. I'm not going to lie, this is a good, a really good reward. But the dark event isn't that sexy. And it is marked as very difficult. But that's the protect the device mission, which per default comes as very difficult. Um, Yeah, let's do the protect the device mission. Because even if we lose it, we're not going to lose our home uh, country. And I want to keep the uh, the uh, continent bonus. Okay, cool. Well, things are progressing. 20 more days and then hopefully I got everything for an upgrade. Um, fingers crossed, guys. We need powered armor. Um, by the way, if you have ever thought about how fragile and vulnerable a like button is, it doesn't have powered armor, so a single click will immediately turn it into that thumbs up, uh, which the video deserves. Just a thought. Take care and see you in two days.